Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can set audience targeting on events, on calendar events in SharePoint Online. So let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, essentially, let's say you have a SharePoint uh, site uh, with a page, of course, and a bunch of web parts. And one of these web parts is the SharePoint calendar. Um, if you uh, watch my previous uh, videos on the channel, um, you are probably familiar that we have uh, two types of calendars we can use. We have an Outlook calendar that we can embed uh, on a SharePoint page. This is what you see here, as well as the SharePoint calendar. So the audience targeting I'm about to show you only applies to SharePoint calendar. And the idea is that uh, the idea behind audience targeting is that you can target certain events to certain people. So for example, if there is a sales meeting and only salespeople need to see it, not you know the whole organization that I can set it up in such a way that if um, I'm part of sales and I log in, I will see this meeting. And if somebody from HR, you know, human resources logs in, they're not going to see the meeting. Um, so that's essentially what audience targeting is all about. Now we can set audience targeting on in other areas in SharePoint. We can set it uh, on navigation, uh, on company news. We can actually set it up on, on links. Um, I've recorded, um, you know, some instructional, you know, videos on how to do that uh, previously. But today, I want to show you how you can configure audience targeting on the calendar web part. So what you need to do is enable audience targeting on the web part itself. So you need to click the edit button to edit the page, uh, edit, um, you know, click on the web part, click the pencil icon, and over here at the bottom, um, audience targeting is off by default. We need to enable it. All right. Uh, so essentially, uh, you enable audience targeting. This will allow us to set audience targeting for a specific event. And uh, what you do uh, next is um, we obviously are, need to republish the page. Right? Now, uh, there is another setting that we need to enable. We are not done yet. We cannot uh, set the audience targeting on uh, individual events still. There is another thing we need to do, and let me show you uh, what we need to do also. We need to navigate to the events calendar, the list itself, because behind the scenes, this is actually a, a list, a SharePoint list in SharePoint. So we need to navigate to uh, site contents, find our events calendar. That's essentially the calendar that supports that uh, web part we saw on the home page. Click three dots, settings. And we need to click this audience targeting settings. All right. So this is the second place where we need uh, to enable the checkbox. So uh, first, we need to enable the toggle switch on the uh, home page and the web part itself. Second, we need to enable this audience targeting, this checkbox over here. So let's press OK. Uh, and now, once that happens, uh, at this point, we can go back to our uh, calendar, uh, click on the event, and edit it. And that's this is where we can set audience targeting now. If you notice over here, um, essentially, in addition to all the regular fields we get as part of the calendar uh, event, we also uh, we also um, get an extra field. Uh, and uh, you can and it tells actually tells you over here you can specify up to 50 audiences and you cannot type in the individual's name it has to be a security group all right uh, let's see if I have yeah I happen to have a sales members uh, security group uh, and uh, I can just keep adding the security group now if you leave this uh, field blank um, then everyone will see the event. Uh, however, once you start adding the groups, only those groups will see the event. And after that, all you need to do is just click Save, all right, and navigate to the home page. Now, in my case, the event is still here because I happen to be part of that sales group I just added. But let's pretend we, you know, uh, I have colleague Mary who is not part of the that sales, uh, in, you know, group. Uh, essentially, when Mary logs in, she will only get to see you know, two out of the three events that you see uh, on this page. Uh, so that's essentially how uh, audience targeting on the events uh, list, on the events calendar, uh, you know, works. So remember, you have to toggle the two switches first, one on the widget itself uh, when you edit the page, another 
uh, behind the scenes when you edit the uh, list itself, when you go to the settings of the list itself. And once you do uh, all both steps, you, uh, at that point, you can uh, set audience targeting on individual events. Uh, that's all I really wanted to show you today. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, uh, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.